In this video, I'm doing a review of the Thinker's Notebook. So if you follow me, you might recall that I did a review of this notebook previously, but it has changed a lot since then. So the original version had the disc binding, poly cover, bright white pages, was quite thin. I'll have my link to the review of this one down below if you want to have a look. They've now changed it to the stone bound format that you've probably seen on most dot grid notebooks. So if you prefer that style, then you might like this updated version better. I uh, just to tell you that I did receive a copy of this notebook and this pen that comes with it for free in exchange for doing this review. But if you follow me, you know that I always say what I think regardless of whether I got the item for free or not. So let's start with the dot grid notebook. Now it is a lot larger than most. So most dot grid notebooks will be like A5, half US letter. For me, like I can work with that, but I do prefer just a little bit bigger. My preferred page size for planning is 7 inches wide by 9 inches high, and this one comes close. It's 6.5 inches wide by 8.75 inches high, and combined with that larger page size and the 256 dock root pages, which is a lot more than most include, it does make it a bit heavier. So I'm someone that just leaves my planner or a dock read notebook at home. I don't take it with me. Um, but if you do, you will notice the weight of this in your bag. It is quite heavy. And because of all those pages, it's about three quarters of an inch thick. So for me, um, I actually prefer that larger page size. The reason being is that I can fit way more on there. So I don't just do like one or two words for my descriptions of tasks i tend to do maybe like five or six and i do need just that extra bit of width so i do will fill like the whole width out um, of the page otherwise you could just draw a line and have two columns and you can fit even more tasks on your page um, if you do write smaller descriptions than me one thing that's pretty cool about the spine of this notebook it starts black and then it has this like gradient thing and then it will go into like this gold orange color which i've not seen another dog grid notebook do that so i thought that was pretty cool something a little extra otherwise the cover is kind of plain comes in this one style only with black it's got the dog grid that kind of reflects the inside pages um, and then just their branding on the cover so apart from the notebook, you do get this pen that comes in this box, which would be good for gifting. And there is also an app that you can download as well. The QR code to scan in is on the inside cover of the notebook. I won't show you how to use the app in this video just because I need my phone to do that and I'm using my phone to film. But I will have like tutorial and step it out and show you how it works in the blog post, which will be linked down below. You can see some kind of overview there and there's the QR code. You can just search it in the app store. So all of these pages are the same. There's no pre-printed pages at all. You can put whatever you want on them. And you probably notice something different to most dock read notebooks is this like title box up the top here. And the reason they have that is because it works with that app I was just talking about. So you can hold the app over the page and it will like scan it in. And then the text recognition is supposed to pick up what you've put in the title box as like the title of the note when you save it on your phone. I've tried it a couple of times. The accuracy was not 100%. Sometimes it picked up some of the things that I've written in this dot grid here as the title of the note rather than what's in the title box, but you can manually change that as well, so it's not really a big deal. The accuracy of scanning is really, really good, actually. I was quite surprised. So if you've got other things around the notebook, maybe like a pen or something, it will just take the notebook and only scan that. So if you've got other things, it won't show in the photo. So it's more like a scanning app, not just take a photo and save it on your phone kind of thing. Dot grid spacing is five mil and none of the dots are too close to the edge of the page. So you get a nice decent margin on all sides, which I much prefer because when I'm using a ruler, I don't want it too close to the edge of the page or it can slip. And I don't like to put my ruler over what I've already written because then that can smudge. So I do like these larger, my, uh, wider margins that they've given you. All of the pages are numbered and that numbering sits below the dot grid. So it's not like some notebooks where they'll embed it within it. And that drives me nuts because then when you're ruling over it to do your design, you can't see the page numbering. Then you have to just manually write it below anyway, which kind of defeats the purpose of pre-printed page numbers. And the numbering is large too. So it's not tiny font that's difficult to read. You can see it quite easily. The pages lay flat on their own. So I'm not in the middle of the book here and they're still laying flat comes with a ribbon bookmark I've just tucked that in to film this review and if you follow me you probably know that I always do a pen test so let's have a look at that so the paper is 120 GSM which for me is a little too thin I find that there's usually some show through and unfortunately that was the case for this notebook so I tried all the usual pens you've probably seen me use before if you follow me gel fine tip ballpoint stamps etc and there was unfortunately quite a bit of show through especially for the marker pens. Um, they had some pretty bad bleed through. If you're going to use this notebook, I would use ballpoint or fine tip pens. 
or because there's so many pages you probably could just write on every second page like skip writing on the back side of the page um like there's so many extra pages that it would end up being the same number of usable pages as like any other dog road notebook if that makes sense just for me i don't like writing on the back when there's a lot of show through so i'd say that that's pretty much the only con of this notebook definitely needs some thicker paper at the back here we have no pocket folder probably because it has this like bendy leather cover i don't know if i've talked about that um, already but i do prefer these i find they're more uh, durable they hold up better they've already got the rounded edge and they're not likely to show up dense as easily especially the black cover should help with that the notebook was made in germany um, but it ships from the usa so i did question them um, why they didn't offer international shipping and they have opened that up so if you live in australia like me sometimes it's really hard to get the u.s brands um, planner stuff here so they have opened up shipping to australia um, can't tell you how much it costs because it depends where you're located so if you add the notebook to the card on their website i'll have the link down below you can get an estimate of the shipping rate um, in there as, um, if you want to check that out and the paper is 100% recycled, which is something that's not very common with the Dock Road Notebooks or something just a little bit extra. And with it being manufactured in Germany, it would explain why I thought it had such a really like close resemblance to the Nuna Notebook, N-W-N-A. So I did get that notebook when I was in Germany, but I never really used it because it had 3mm dot grid spacing. So if you like the style of it, but you want a 5mm grid, then this one is a really close um, alternative because this one has 5mm grid. So if you found this review helpful, um, I will have the blog post link down below, which will have that tutorial on how to use the app. I have a pros and cons list. My main con, as you probably already picked up on is just the paper everything else i really quite like about this notebook um, maybe some more cover styles would be great a bit more variety uh, the cost of the notebook is 25 usd which i thought was quite reasonable for the size and the number of pages um, i thought that was not a too bad price point so i'll have a link down below if you wanted to order one off their website and then also the link to the blog post which some more details don't forget to subscribe i usually post a couple of planner or bullet journal notebook review videos each week